Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Beatty and alongside me is my partner in crime, Brian Fody. And how are you doing tonight, Brian? I'm doing pretty good. How are you yeah. yourself, Jeff? You doing yeah, good? I'm doing all right, doing all right. You know, eventful weekend in sports. Yeah, it was uh, a pretty unfortunately eventful. Unfortunately, it was all, all not the best weather for Yeah, rainy sports. weekend. Rainy, rainy and cold. Rainy and didn't, cold. Didn't Plattsburgh like weather. Indeed, yes. But we did have the cross-country teams went down to Saratoga, so I mm -hmm. believe it was nicer there. Yeah. But we'll let you know how they did. The men's cross-country team traveled down to Saratoga last weekend to take part in the Saratoga Invitational. Junior runner Mike Heyman took first place overall, finishing a minute and 14 seconds ahead of second place. Robert Grimm and Josh Mitchell also placed in the top 10 for the cards. Grimm placed 7th and Mitchell placed 9th. Also placing for Plattsburgh were Alex Seco in 17th, James Biondi in 20th, and Noel Lomix in 29th. Matt Matthew Broderick was in 31st. The Cardinals finished second place overall behind Keene State. This weekend, the Cards will head to Cortland to take place in the SUNYAC Championship with the winner advancing to the NCAA Division III Atlantic Regional Championships. The women's team also went down to Saratoga last week to take part in the Invitational. Leading runner for the Cards was Jenny Schefhauser, placing third overall in the race. Also placing for the Cardinals were Stephanie Braun in seventh, Julia Warren in 17th, Colleen Kuhn in 24th, Crystal Yearney in 28th, Brittany Trahan in 35th, and Christina Smith in 48th. The women's team also goes to Cortland with the men's team this weekend for the SUNYAC Championships and the NCAA Division III Atlantic Regional on the line. So, good weekend for the cross-country teams down there in Saratoga, Brian. Position and second overall. Pretty good um, to go down there and do very yep. well in that competition. And... Um, they did um did their jobs and did very well. They did, they did and um, we got some shifting gears to women's soccer. Uh, the women's soccer team would take on Ithaca this past weekend, and we have the highlights. And Plattsburgh um, coming off a little bit of a rough stretch, losing a couple of their last games in the conference, would try to get it rolling against Ithaca. And pretty much in the game was um, Plattsburgh uh, scored a goal. And they um, took command of the game. And the second half actually was an own goal. And here we are to the highlights right here at the Memorial Field on a um, rainy Saturday afternoon. And right now, good defense right there by Ithaca as they would um, come out and get a kick off right there. And here we go. She passes it up. And here comes Ithaca on the counterattack right here, shooting in a cross right here. And it goes in and a shot on net right here. Nice save by the Plattsburgh goalkeeper later in the... Um, Second half, here comes the shot header, but right off the, Platts, the Ithaca defender, excuse me, and into the net for an own goal, and Plattsburgh grabbed the early one to nothing lead. And later in the um, in the half, at the 26-57 in the first half, they took the um, early lead. Later in the half again, Ithaca, Plattsburgh would have a corner kick here, and a nice save right there from Ithaca as they deny Plattsburgh a scoring opportunity. And that was pretty much the end of the game as Plattsburgh went on to win two to one and move their record to nine five three and one. Ithaca outshot um, Plattsburgh twelve to eight, but um, Elena Greaser had eight saves and Helen Gorak's two goals, as I said, um, the um, unassisted one was the own goal there for the first yeah. one. And um, Plattsburgh it's a good conference win for them as they um, finished up their season. And an own goal, I mean, you didn't think that would yeah. be the undoing, but imagine if that own goal didn't go in, how, who knows how long that game would have lasted over time. Mm -hmm. Maybe Plattsburgh would have come on top, but you, you know, never know. Never know, but That's the matter. way the cookie crumbles that's, sometimes. That's the way the cookie <laughs> crumbles. But the men's soccer team also, Brian, had home games this weekend. They took on visiting Potsdam on Saturday in a SUNYAC conference game, and with a win, they had the shot to clinch the number one seed in the conference tournament. The scoring got started in the 27th minute when Brandon Levine took a pass from teammate Chris Taylor and put it in the back of the net to give the Cardinals an early 1-0 lead. The score would remain that way going into halftime, but when the second half kicked off, it was a different story. The Cardinals' offense showed up. Chris Taylor got a goal of his own in the 59th minute when he delivered a direct kick in the upper left corner of the goal to give the Cardinals a 2-0 lead. Joe Griffin added a goal in the 62nd minute minute to make it 3 to nothing, and then John Martin and Jan Jared Antonici added a goal to give the Cards a 5 nothing victory. With the win, the Cardinals locked up their first regular season SUNYAC Conference Championship since 2005. Also with the victory, the Cardinals get a first round bye in the tournament and get the chance to host the semifinal and final games of the tournament. Andy Hayenton and Zach Kruzinga both played goal for Plattsburgh, 
and combined for seven saves in the game. So a dominant game for Plattsburgh against Potsdam on Saturday and get a chance to get home field advantage in the conference championship and floating. And Jeff, let me cut in there. That's yes. big right there, um, getting the home, home field, field advantage as they'll um, look to seek their um, 12th uh, SUNYAC title. And um, Plattsburgh's really going to have to um, come out and um, do good. They have the first round by, as you said, mm -hmm. and they should be um, well prepared and well rested um, come SUNYAC tournament yep. time. And it should be um, a good um, chance for them. But right so yesterday, the Plattsburgh State women's soccer team traveled to Norwich to finish their season. The cards came out on top with a 4-2 victory, and Liz Radigan, the answer to our trivia question, had a hat-trick scoring three goals in the game. Kristen Bagu got the scoring started in the seventh minute. Liz Radigan added her first goal of the game three minutes later. Norwich got onto the board with a goal from Brittany Casey in the 32nd minute. Radigan got the, her second goal of the game in the 44th minute after she put a loose ball into the back of the net. In the second half, Casey added her second goal of the game in the 58th minute to bring Norwich within one get goal. But Radigan would ice the game with her third goal in the 89th minute to bring the score to 4-2. to two. With the win, the Cardinals' final record is 10 wins, 5 losses, and 3 overtime losses. So overall, not a bad way to end the season for the Plattsburgh women's Two soccer wins team. in a row, so that's... Um, give them, they outshot... Uh, 36 to 36 nine. to 9. That's, that's offensive good. dominance, and you can see why they scored four, four, goals. four goals, you know. Loose ball in the back of the net for one of the goals, and not a bad, not a bad performance, would, would you say, Brian? No, not bad at all, and moving into um, the playoffs, they should be mm -hmm. um, well ready with some confidence with two wins. But the uh, men's soccer team was in action in this weekend as well, and the nationally ranked men's soccer team squared off against St. Lawrence. The game was played during rainy conditions. St. Lawrence struck first when Sam DeMello put St. Lawrence up one to nothing when he scored in the 14th minute. Then in the second half, Plattsburgh's Pat Sharnsey scored to tie the game at one apiece. The game went into overtime, and in the first overtime, St. Lawrence had a great scoring chance, but Brendan Gorman's shot hit the post and bounced away from the net. Um, the game finished in a tie, and the Cardinals finished their season on an eight-game unbeaten streak, going 5-0-3 oh, in those eight games. The Cards finished up 12-2-4 the season. They won the um, SUNYACs, as we said before, and will play have a bye and play in the SUNYAC, where they will look to take their 12th SUNYAC title. So a very good way to finish off the season there. A tie really against a weaker St. Lawrence opponent that they could have beat, but in rainy conditions, clinching the division already, I mean, Pat not really Honestly much in the, the play. The big goal right there being down one nothing by Patch Honesty to come back and um, get him in the game. They were outshot, but they were on the road in this game, and I mean, they weren't really playing for much as they um, we just pretty much had the division all locked up, and they'll be going into a bye, and they just have to get rest right now, and they've played great all season. They're nationally ranked now, and they should be um, very good heading into the SUNY and the, tournament. And the bye week should help them. Get, get them rested, and luckily for them, they're at home where they can host the games. Hopefully the home crowd will show up and give, give the men's soccer team some support.